Hey guys, it's Eddie, and this video you probably aren't going to care about. I know I say that pretty much every video, but this video you probably are not going to care about. Also, I apologize about the sound my air conditioner is on. In this video, I'm going to read and sort of kind of react to my old diaries, my old things that I printed out. I don't know. So, I'm filming on my desk right now, and in like the cabinet right here, I have a ton of old journals and books and stuff. Not all of them. I don't know where half of them are. But anyways, I'm going to read some of them to you. If only I can take them out of here. Okay, so this notebook I used in 8th grade. This was my math notebook. We had to use composition notebooks. And I'm not going to read you like the whole, like a ton of stuff in here. I'm just going to read you the first page because it is a math notebook so technically it is mostly like math stuff i don't know if you saw that one okay it is mostly math stuff so i'm going to read you the first page so this was the first day of school or one of the first days of school and it was my math teacher's first year teaching in my town and she was I'm, so, I'm just saying this she was the best teacher she was my number one favorite teacher of all time so when we got to math class on the board she had like questions that we had to answer in our notebooks so i don't i didn't write down the questions so i don't know what it was but i'm guessing i'm just gonna assume the first one is, what is your goal for this year in math class? That, and I said, try hard to do assignments correctly. Do all my Khan Academy assignments on time. That's a math website. And do every bit of homework and hand it in on the correct due date. In math class, that lasted. Other classes, no. What the heck? Oh, I was like, what is that thing right there? It's just, it's the bottom of the white. Okay, the next thing. It says, two things I can do to reach this goal are try my best to do every assignment, but try not to rush so I don't make too many mistakes. I can also ask the teacher if I don't know how to do something. Okay. One thing that is hard for me is multiplying and dividing with decimals. I mean, that's not, I'm in high school now, I'm going into my sophomore year, which starts in like, exactly 15 days from today. One thing I'm good at is adding and subtracting integers. Who doesn't know how to add and subtract integers? Integers are just another word for numbers. So adding and subtracting numbers. Surprisingly, I spelled everything right so far. Yeah. Fun fact about myself. I've been in the B-sharps for two years with Mr. Someone. I'm not going to say her name. His name. So basically, the B-sharps was like an advanced chorus because I like singing. So the B-sharps, it was an advanced chorus that you have to audition for. And the teacher... I'm sorry, he's not one of my favorites. I think he he was the one that was in charge of like choosing the people to get into the group. And I think he only chose some of the how <sighs> to sneeze. I think some of the students he chose, and this is what a lot of people think, he chose them because he likes them as students, not because they were good. Because I will admit, there was a few people, they had, they, they were not good. I'm not saying this, like, to make myself sound like, what the heck is wrong with me? Sorry, I'm not making, I'm not saying this to make myself sound like I was the best, because I was not even close. But, there were some people that were horrible, and he chose them. And there were also other people, such as one of my best friends, um, who were good, and he didn't choose them. Sorry, I'm playing with my keys. But I was in it for 
6th and 7th grade. I don't think we had it for 8th grade. Did we? I don't remember. Okay, so... I actually, so I just ripped apart my whole room. It was, I literally just cleaned it like an hour ago. And I ripped the whole thing apart because I was looking for two other journals that I had, or two other notebook diaries, whatever you want to call them. And I don't know where they are. I really thought I had them in my closet. No, never mind. I thought I might have, I, I thought I had them in my closet over there, but I guess not. So I might have to do a part two of this to read the ones that I lost because the two that I know, three that I lost. I actually just remember I had another one. Are they up here? No. Okay. Anyways, I found some more. So. Okay. So this one is called David's Secret Things. So this was one of the things or journals, notebooks, again, whatever you want to call it, that I had with one of my friends a long time ago in like. I think fifth grade no this is sixth grade I think yeah yeah it was sixth grade so he made this he literally just took a whole bunch of paper together and stapled it and said it's called Gabe's secret things if you find this please give this to Gabe do not look inside also draw drawing I'm not going to show you the drawing that we put on the front. Project, Arctic National Wildlife Reserve. Partner, someone. I don't know what that's about, but... Gabe met at a parade. We have been friends for about three years. Eddie. And then... I really like you. When I went to ask... She was on green team. She said he actually believed that. Then we just want to see. We just wanted to see his reaction. Oh. Okay, so I'll tell you the scoop about that, without getting too scoopy, which makes no sense because I'm gonna tell you the whole thing. So. I can never have crushes because every time I do it goes around the entire grade okay so I have four more here and then if I can find the other three I'll do part two ignore me having a pillow on my head because if I move it the glare is awful so in the video I said I had four books left and I did have four books left but I actually I only put two in the video because one of them, um, there was nothing in it. And the other one, I wrote down some information that I can't share with you. And that's, there was literally one page filled in, in that one. So I couldn't post it. So I'm, so really there's two left for the video at least. So I apologize about that. Poetry notebook. Ooh. Okay, then. A silly poem. Oh, read this poem now. Can you understand? Work with a partner and work hand in hand. It might be s sort of crazy, but once you get the hang of it it will be easy <laughs> okay so the letters are early the it's every word is spelled backwards about me okay this is a okay this is called a demonte poem if you've never heard of it it's basically like like demonte diamond demon di diamond okay so it's basically you put like whatever the poem is about, the first line, and then you put two words to describe it, and then you put another three words to describe it. So it goes like one word, two words, three words, and then you put a sentence with five words, and then you put the same three words. 
two words, one word. So, about me. Eddie, smart. Creative. Drawing, singing, dancing. I love art and music. Drawing, singing, dancing. Smart, creative. Eddie. Okay. Acrostic poem. That's when, like, all of the letters are here. Burping. That's when all the letters are, like, lined up. And then there's things going across it. Beach. Beach balls. Every summer's day. At the water. Collecting shells. Hot days. Okay. Good night. Please don't be another sad one. Good night, little baby. Great. Time to get some rest. Oh, the things that are waiting for you in the morning are the best. We will play with your toys like your little toy truck. What I want to give you is every bit of luck. So good night, little baby. Time to get some rest. Oh, the things that are waiting for you in the morning are the best. Okay. That's not a bad one. I feel sick. I feel very sick today. I want to go out to play. But mom says I should get to I should get to sleep and not make a single peep. Now we have to get in the car, but all mom says is it's not far. We <laughs> We are at the doctor's now. Then to mom I made a vow. Please don't make me go in there. All the doctors do is stare in your throat and in your eyes. Then I forgot about the mini apple pie. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so this is the last one. This technically isn't a diary. It is, oh, I mean, it is, but it's called the Wimpy Kid Do-It-Yourself Book. So basically, there was a lot of things that you can do yourself. I haven't read this since I did it, but I'm going to read. I'm gonna read some. Okay. This book belongs to Eddie. If found, please return to this address. 1116 JKFS UPUR Ave. That's not my address. I mean, it's not anyone's address, but. If you are gonna be marooned for the rest of your life, what would you want to have with you? Video games, Minecraft, Sing It, Just Dance. Songs. Oh no, I'm not going to read those. Books. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Captain Underpants. How Bullfrog Found a Sound? What? Movies. Camp Rock 2. And I'm not going to read those either. Have you ever gotten a haircut that was so bad you needed to stay home from school? No. Have you ever had to put suntan lotion on a grown-up? Yes, I have. Have you ever been bitten by an animal? Yes. Have you ever been bitten by a person? Yes. No, I haven't. Okay, so basically you have to check yes or no. No, I haven't. Have you ever tried to blow a bubble with a mouthful of raisins? No. Have you ever peed in a swimming pool? Yes. Have you ever been kissed full on the lips by a relative who's older than 70? No. I don't think I have, honestly. Have you ever been sent home early by one of your friend's parents? No. Have you ever had to change a diaper? No. Personality test. Favorite animal? Lion. Write down four adjectives that describe why you like that animal. Big. Cool. Tough. Roaring. What's your favorite color? Blue. Write down four adjectives that describe... Pretty, bright, colorful... Really pops out. <laughs> oh, okay. The adjectives you wrote down for your favorite animal describe how you think of yourself. And favorite color describe how other people think of you. Okay, so I think that I'm big, cool, tough, and roaring. And other people think that I'm pretty, bright, colorful, and I really pop out. That's good, I guess. <laughs> Last book, How You Think of School and describe what you'll be like in 30 years. So I think school is funny, cool, entertaining, and happy. Totally. And in 30 years, I will be cool, funny, commanding, and magical. I'll be magical, you guys. 
unfinished comics. You hurt me. Oops. Not. Nah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So basically, there was the, those comics, and then we had to write our own. Aliens will visit our planet in the year 6012 and make the following announcement. It's a new year and everything is different. The number one thing that will get on old people's nerves 20 years from now will be snowboarding in PJs. Oh, that's sad. Stack your sandwich here. Wheat bread. <laughs> fluff. Nutella, Nutella, fluff, fluff. Nutella, vanilla ice cream, whipped cream. Nutella, 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 Nutella. White bread. <laughs> I apologize, I am very weird. My camera's actually about to die, so I'm going to go. But I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see me do in an upcoming video. You know the drill. Goodbye, guys.